Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I want to show you some of the updates to the Heartbeat tool. Yes, the development is going on, the Heartbeat tool. It's been going on for quite a while now, and there's some new updates I want to show you. So let's dig in. If you want to follow along with me, it's at h.ki, or as George says, hkey. Links in the description below. Let's kick it off, and I want to show you the brand new theater mode. I love this. This is the best way to use Heartbeat when you're watching a video, in my opinion. So in order for me to get there, I'm just gonna go over here to the left side. I'm gonna click on a heartbeat here. I'm gonna click on videos, and then here are some of the videos. Actually, let's click on moments. Why not? So here are some of the moments that I've selected, and you'll see here I've got a whole bunch selected. Let's go to this one here. Why? Because, well, whatever. It's one of my own videos, so there we go. Cross promotion, or whatever the heck you call it. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this video here. Logo rotate 3D. How do you rotate a logo in 3D? I'm gonna turn the volume off, and then the first thing you're going to notice here, when I, after I show you, <laughs> is just below the video here, there's this little button here. This is theater mode. You get that nice widescreen look here. And if I hit play, I'm going to turn the volume off and presto. So theater mode is enabled. It is great. So let's turn that off. Now, the next thing I want to show you here is on the right side, if I go to, let's say, the 34 second mark here, there we go. I'm going to turn the volume off again. 34 seconds. You'll see here the moment is selected, but watch. When it goes to the 44 second mark, it's going to move along with you, with it. Pardon me. So there you go. The highlights move along with the video. So they kind of just do their thing as you go through the various moments. Now, a couple other things I want to show you up here at the top right. If I'm watching this video and I'm like, okay, let's get to the good part. You can go ahead and you can just click on this 10 second button. Skip forward 10 seconds, skip forward two seconds, and you can do the same going backwards. So it's just something to keep in mind. Also, if you see somebody's moments or one of your own moments, and you think that's really, really great, this is one of the best moments, look at this. There's this little red heart outline here. If I click on it, presto, I've now got a heartbeat. It's even got the nice little fireworks, kind of like how YouTube has it. <laughs> so look at that. So there you go. I've selected this moment as one of my favorites. And if I want to scale or I want to skip through it, I can go ahead and use these buttons. If I want to get down and dirty and like get to the exact frame, I can click on this little pen icon over here. And then you'll see here inside that I've got, I can go back and forward one second. I can go back 0.1 of a second. Or if you really got to be a perfectionist, and you can go ahead and skip forward and back even one frame at a time. So how good is that? I know. Pretty crazy stuff. So let's go ahead and click out of that. I'm going to go over now to the top left side here. I'm going to click on that three little lines, or I guess they call it the hamburger menu. Let's see what's going on over here. All right. So on the left side here, I'm going to click on studio to start this off. And you're going to get a snapshot of your heart or basically of your profile. And while this is not exactly correct data right now, it's still dummy data. But I mean, you can very quickly see what's happening here. We've got news in the right column here. If I want to see something, what's going on, I can go ahead and just click on one of these news buttons here or news videos and check it out. I've got my latest performance, similar to what you see when YouTube, when you upload something, you'll see kind of how your latest video is going. And you've got a very basic analytics package that you can just go ahead and click on. And you can go ahead and do a deep dive into your analytics, including, as you can see here, your top moments. Now, again, this is just dummy data. This is just stuff that you can expect to see. It's very similar to what YouTube does, in fact. But uh, overall, the development on the, on the tool is coming along quite well. The analytics, the dashboards are all being built. And yeah, one of the things I should show you, of course, is this little button or this little, I'll highlight it. This little area, estimated revenue. This is what gets me excited. Very soon, Heartbeat is going to have the ability to pay you. So if you upload your own moments, or pardon me, you just you know add in your own moments and they get views, or you add in your own articles, which is coming as well, and you get views, you're going to get paid for it. So yeah, even smaller YouTubers, if you're not getting, you know, if you haven't hit the 1K, 4K, or whatever the heck the total is, 500, 2K, I don't even know what it is anymore, uh, you could still get paid with Heartbeat. So that's going to be pretty good when that's up and running and it should be pretty soon. Let's click on some other things while I got you. All right, so just a couple other things I wanna show you before I close her down here. You'll see here back in the moments on the right side here, there's three little dots. If I click on that little uh, menu icon, icon, pardon me, look at that. You can copy as heartbeat moments, 
copy his YouTube chapters and copy to a new playlist. So for example, if you create a YouTube video and you don't want to go through and you know add in all the different chapters, just go here, click the button, presto, you've got the chapters. It's copied. All you got to do is copy and paste it into your YouTube description. Job done. No messing around. It's pretty darn cool. So there you go. Those are just some of the updates that we got cooking with the Heartbeat tool. Keep in mind, this tool is always under active development. So pretty soon, you're going to have a fully working analytics dashboard. There's going to be money coming your way. So when you start up uploading moments and, you know, doing your thing, we're going to pay you for it. So there's always that part uh, that is still under active development. That should be done in the next hopefully a month or two. Um, and yeah, just so many new things going on here. So thanks for watching this video. I've got another video coming up shortly. Be back soon.